perfect igv has been opened we are going to load the bam file here okay and we are also going to load the reference sequence so if you have your igv opened you may probably see this or you may see another uh, reference sequence being loaded here but we are going to load it um, we are going to load our own reference sequence and then the BAM file okay so mine is here so these are my files and then if i go to map i have my BAM file here okay this is what i am going to load and i also have my reference sequence here okay i'm going to load both so i'll go back to igv and then load them okay so when we are here if you want to load a reference sequence you come to genomes and then you go to load from file and then you select your genome Okay, I'm going to select my reference, you know, which is this one here. So I have loaded the reference sequence. Now I will also open the file. Okay, so I will go to file and then I go to load from file. And I, I will load my BAM file, which is here. okay the bam file has been opened if the bam file is opened you will see the name on the left side here we have the name of the bam file and then this text that's coverage and then when you come to this side you also see the name of the bam file there uh, you may see a blank window here okay uh, this is the default behavior of igv and so what you have to do is to zoom in then you'll be able to see the alignment to zoom in just come to the top right you see these two buttons minus and then plus okay so by default the elements have been zoomed out completely so you have to zoom in so you have to use the plus button so just click it or you can also look at this bar here this blue bar here click it and then just drag it to the right side so you can drag it to the right side and then the alignments will be zoomed in for you so that's about it okay now let's look at the data here now on the top we have coverage information and then in the middle we have the alignment records and then when you come to this side you see the sequence so this is the reference sequence that's what you have here so we have the sequence so we have the individual basis here okay now if you look at what we have here these uh, that i call tracks each of these represents a read let me use an example here so let's say i want a shorter one okay let's just say this one here okay let me just yeah so each of these here is a read okay so uh, these reads have been mapped to a regions of the reference sequence so you will see them like this okay so you will see that some of them have been given a color gray some of them have also been given um, red we have blue here okay igv by default uh, gives colors to interesting events if there is no interesting events then the color is gray if there are interesting events then you have colors for them for example uh, this red color here for this read indicates a possible deletion then this one indicates a possible insertion i'll leave some useful links in the description that you can use to read more about how igv displays results and how you can interpret bam files so um, just check the description box you'll find some links there okay aside the colors of the reads themselves you also see that we have some nucleotides here okay or some bases I'm using these two words interchangeably here so you will see some of them here and they are also colored they are colored because they are interesting events okay so let, why are they colored and why are they interesting let's take a look at this one here there's one that I want okay let's look at this one here because it's yeah if you look at this one here 
the reference sequence has what a at that position but here it's c so there's a different base here and that is why it's interesting there was a change okay so interesting events here refer to changes in the um, sequences the data that you have so this is the data our data at this position is c but on the reference genome it's a at that position so that is why this one is scarlet okay so to tell you that there was an interesting event so here the event is that there's a mismatch that's about it so with the colors here with the colors here it can be given in different shades yeah so the colors here are given in different shades so if the color is light it indicates a low quality if the color is thick or given in, in, in a bolded form then it indicates a high quality so how do we check the quality for each of these bases so click it and then you have this information coming up so this information here you have the mapping quality you also have the base quality here so you can use that to check the quality scores and then see which ones are low and which ones are high so that's about it if you click and you don't see anything then you may want to change the behavior so just come to the top this one here which says modify pop-up text behavior in data panels and click on it so when you click you have this so mine by default shows details on click but you can change by selecting other ones as well so uh, just try and then use this one for now so that we can click and then see the detail okay so that's about it now you will see that we have some places which are still white i will say they are blank because there's nothing there so uh, this means that no reads map to those regions there was no read okay so this color is different from this one here is gray because reads were mapped to that region but here there are no reads so it's blank that's what you should know okay so that's about it now let's look at another thing here let's check the coverage information so this side here is the coverage so we have the information for each nucleotide or each base we have them here and you can see that um, some are higher than others okay so each of these represents the sum of reads that map to that position that's what this one indicates so if let's say you compare two of them let's say you are comparing this and this we see that one is higher than the other that means that uh, the one which is higher had more reads mapping to that position compared to this one here so that is why there's that change so this tells you the coverage information so it's important to also look at the coverage as well so that's about it now this is an intro so i will not give detailed explanation for the um, igv um, output here but that's what i also see if let's say there is a mismatch let's just say you want to identify snips here there is a mismatch all right but then if you look at the other reads uh, they remain unchanged okay we have gray throughout that means that if it's gray that means that it's still a, 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 a here and it's only this one that is c and some of them to no reads map there at all so here this cannot be a true snip or a true variance okay because it's just one of them usually we need to make sure that we have the same observation across all the reads here and then we can use that to make a decision in addition to the quality that you have here so you can use that and that will help you to identify um snips okay true snips okay so even though there's a mismatch we cannot say for sure that this is a snip because we need to also consider what is happening on all the other reads as well so uh, this is something that i thought i also bring it up so that's you don't um, use just one observation here to 
decide whether there's a snip or not so that's about it so